Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Sponge and we're still down here on the jungle planet. Now, I may have got a bit carried away, ladies and gentlemen. So here's the Thunderstrike that we found in the last episode. Obviously, I'm going to work to try and disassemble this and make it into a CV that we can then use to escape this planet and move on into the greater galaxy. So I decided to set up a little bit of a makeshift camp next to it in order to you know, store all the salvage components and ultimately build them into CV parts and so on and so forth. I, I definitely got a bit carried away. So <laughs> there's no drones or anything on this planet. There's no Xerax presence. The most dangerous thing is the wildlife. So I figured I'd build, I'd build a little fort for myself. So I got some wood blocks and I built some fortifications and uh, these fortifications have got little sentry guns set to Predator. And uh, like, yeah, I've got carried away completely. But you can build so many wood blocks so quickly. And I was just like, yeah, this is fun. So I got, I built myself some outer walls with little shooting holes down the sides and stuff. And this goes all the way around um, this little makeshift camp that I've built here in order to help me take apart the Thunderstrike. And I found out as well while I was doing that, trying to put a core onto the Thunderstrike here so that I could retrieve whole blocks like the thrusters and stuff. It's a regenerable base. We've come across this before. Um, because of the, I think this is the only one on this entire planet. Um, I don't think, maybe there's a couple of other people on this planet on Pandora, but I don't think there's that many people starting on Pandora. Um, but obviously if I took it apart and then, you know, before the planet resets uh, weekly, if somebody else wanted to come along and, and also salvage it, then they wouldn't be able to because it will it wouldn't regenerate until the entire planet reset and that would wipe everything off. So that is the only kind of exception or, what, or the sort of only exception uh, that we have in regenerable bases on the server now. Most POIs most POIs will no longer regenerate, which means you can take them over, you can put cores in them, take the whole blocks, etc. This one is not one of those. So um, still, the little camp here is great. I've put solar panels up on a tower because we are quite far down the South Pole. Actually, the sun comes up there and it goes like that. So I figure flat panels facing north would get the best. And these, they seem to be working quite well, actually. They're only small solar panels, but uh, there we go. Um, little kind of bunker thing with... Production facilities, bridges, so on and so forth. Uh, main storage container, I'm going to sort of build up on those and, and so on and so forth. Um, little little bedroom, toilet type thing. And uh, medical chamber there. Ammunition box separate from the base. Over here, I'm going to put a little nine, pot group, uh, nine plot greenhouse. Uh, because although the food is abundant in, in the uh, jungle, it's, all the different types are quite spread out. So... Our spice here, for example, is um, very rare in these parts. I found two plants in, in quite a large sort of circumference of area. Um, so, yeah, I need to go and perhaps make some uh, sprouts from the spice that I can find in order to farm that make more spice because we've got so many vegetables uh, and plant uh, protein and stuff that we could actually be making um, tins in tin tomato things or, or even just better meals altogether really anyway what we're going to do today is before i i sort of commit to taking this thing apart i want to um head up to the moon there it is we can see it from here a to see if there are any Diraxian scumbags up there that we can torment and steal from i want to get a tier two multi-tool um and tier two multi-tools, can I even make one of those in a large constructor? I don't think I can. I think, I well, first of all, I need to unlock it anyway. Because, um, there we go. T2 multi-tool, they take oscillators and flux coils. So we need, we need some higher stuff. And obviously, yeah, an advanced constructor. So we could probably upgrade this because I keep forgetting, and you guys keep rightly pointing out that I can upgrade... Uh, no upgrade exists or must be unlocked in tech tree. I can upgrade a constructor. I don't need to build an advanced constructor and then take this one out and put this one back. I need five steel plates, two computers, five energy matrix, 50 cobalt alloy and 10 flux coils. So hopefully we can get that sort of stuff 
from the moon uh, and then we can upgrade that and then we can get a tier 2 multi-tool or we just find a tier 2 multi-tool whatever comes first obviously i have no cobalt here but i have a good amount of iron uh, a bit of copper silicon and some promethean over here as well so i have the sort of foundations here of a good setup like we did over at the camp well, we've left sort of static over there at the moment um hopefully i don't know if he's going to come over and join me we'll see but it doesn't really matter um what we need to do is go to the moon. I've got medium armor on because we found medium armor last time and uh, in an insulation boost. This isn't going to help me much uh, in space, but it will help a little bit. It will help a little bit. Now, I have got these couple of water uh, oxygen thingies here. These are fantastic, by the way. These are absolutely fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm sort of liking them more than regular kind of um, <laughs> water generators because they produce the uh, oxygen and the water all in one and actually they work pretty well i'm not i'm not too upset about them to be honest um let's take um oh, that's got a bit of concrete in it a bit of crushed stone take my portable constructor with me i would like a portable heat thing but i didn't bring one with me how much do they take i think they're just one they are one ore i think we can manage one iron ore let's get a heater as well get that going uh food Oh god, we have no food whatsoever, do we? Okay, well, let's grab a bunch of this stuff and we'll get our soup producing some um, energy bars. Okay, so I think we're as prepared as we can be. Eight charges on the drill. Oh, no multi-tool charges. No multi-tool charges. We, we, I don't know whether we'll need much in the way of multi-tool charges, but you know better to have some than not. Anyway, I'll get them ready and then we'll head off up to the moon. All right, here we go. So we head straight at the moon. Be back soon, Daddy Strike. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to space. We're back. It's not been too long. Oh, there is another moon here. Right, have a little ping on the old detector. Let's see what we've got around here. Oh, we've got a Xeraxian scum over there. We've got a couple of asteroids, including a cobalt. Uh, two cobalts, in fact. And more Xeraxian scum and Polaris over there. Okay, not a huge amount in space. Not a huge amount. Uh, oh, my God. Legacy wreckage. LGC wreckage. Finally, uh, Legacy are getting their own sort of faction. LGC now, rather than just alien. Okay. That's a lot of wreckages around as well, isn't there? All right, we can check one of those out later. Let's uh, let's keep on mission here and head towards the moon and see what we can find over here. Welcome to the moon, ladies and gents. Welcome to the moon. We've got an iron deposit straight away. Silicon as well. Um, more resources in this direction that we know what to do with. So we have some Xerax territory there. Okay, be good if we could also find some wrecked ships as well. They will be handy. And drones. Drones, drones, drones. Oh, he, would, he died very quickly, didn't he? <laughs> oh, boink. Cobalt. It's actually one of the things we need to pick up here. I'm hoping we can maybe get some uh, magnesium as well. That'd be good. Oh, and pentaxid. We're going to need that. Pentaxid. How's me... Uh, I'm reasonably good on the moon actually. It's about 40 or so degrees on here. Well, it's about 50 degrees or so um, on the jungle planet anyway. So, and I can survive quite nicely in my medium armor with my insulation boost. Let's grab some cobalt and we'll continue exploring this moon. So, uh, let's connect to the ammo box of all things on the SV here. There we go. And like I said, we've taken all SSOR deposits off the server now, so we don't need the um, ore detector so much. And it means that deposits are actually very reliable. <laughs> They're actually going to spawn in and not just be fake. We had so many SSOR deposits just not working. I think... It's just... <laughs> Crash Titans up here. I wasn't sure um, when I saw the missions uh, whether we could actually do them. Uh, because we've got the starting the journey human remains 
So, yeah. But it looks like the Titan's up here. So maybe we can. Flew past a drone. We take him out. These guys have great components sometimes. Uh, you can really get some of the more rarer. Woof. Since I picked up that cobalt. <laughs> I'm a little bit heavier now. There we go. Power coils in that one. Yeah, we've got four power coils just from drones already. Pretty good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm missing a wing. There's a good reason for it. Oh, Christ, that was close. Okay, all right. Phew! Do not get to... It, it was level one. So I was like, ah, it, 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 it'll be nothing. No, no. Drone base, armed with missile launchers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm missing a wing. <laughs> Oh, I mean, of all the components it just it could have destroyed, actually the wing is fine. <laughs> that's that's probably the best thing it could have could have hit. Ah, oh, boy, that was close. Okay, good. The drone base here might be level one, but is armed with missile launchers and will make thing will make SVs <laughs> look a bit uh, see through. Yeah. Let's check out Polaris. Gonna have to put that back together. I haven't saved a template, don't have a repair bay, doesn't really matter. So um, I'll have to manually repair that, as I would have to anyway, not a problem. Hello Polaris! What do you got? You got security bots, silicon deposit, whole mining station, land pad A, landing pad A. Everything. Look at this stuff. Very nice. So does mining station have traders in it that we can trade with? Oh, we have a sh server shut down in a second. Okay. Um, Polaris Mining Company Mining Station Lampad B Visitor Entry. Okie dokie. Let's have a little look around. Um, I wonder if there are any my, uh, traders here. There might be actually. Look at this fella. I mean, can I trade with you? I can! Lovely! Yes, I think they changed it recently so that you could actually trade at neutral now so that's quite handy these guys have got neodymium piddly amounts but you know default trader config i guess point is quite good that we can even trade at all authorized personnel only can't go in there lock code for the elevator as well can't go down there okay polaris company weird polaris or pfl whatever and uh open shutter door this goes back outside yep and presumably, well, there might be some other stuff over there, but we've got a server restart coming, so I'm going to sit myself in the ship. I can't believe this. Da 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 da! <laughs> this is all plastic. This is all plastic, so yeah, of course, that just got evaporated away instantly. Um, got lucky. Got very lucky there because, I mean, those missile turrets, I think, generally are, are sort of powerful enough um, to take out a cockpit in a sort of single hit sometimes, so. And, and it doesn't seem to have damaged anything else around it. I'm holding the button down for the multi-tool here and nothing, nothing, nothing else is damaged. Uh, laser turret on the exit there managed to take out another block here. But yeah, we're okay. We're okay. I mean, we're missing a bit of wing. Fortunately, structure integrity doesn't exist for SVs and stuff. So <laughs> we can just replace that when we get back to base. All right, server so restart, and then I'm going to carry on exploring. So I think it's fairly safe to say that all the story missions uh, are on the moon. The only thing that confuses me slightly is that uh, I don't know the, the Talon element of it, because obviously um, some of the like first missions are with the Talon. So I think what we're going to have to do is just hit play on these missions and find out what the hell. Go is going on. Because how do we <laughs> how do we complete the first pit with no talent? And I'm, I'm so confused. Anyway, what I'm going to do quickly is um, run this uh, this lot back to base. I didn't find a tier two multi tool because I didn't find any Xerax outposts or anything that I could conquer or Polaris traders that I could swindle. So. Yeah, mission kind of not successful on that front there, but uh, we have got. 
space full of these sort of wreckage things and I do want to quickly check one out there's a Xerox something or other there um, and I'm obviously hesitant for obvious reasons uh, <laughs> take my ship anywhere near any more Xerox stuff unless in case it's got bloody missile launchers again and uh, I lose the other half of the ship I was very lucky that time to only lose some wings so Let's not push it. Anyway, let's see if I can scoot around the uh, the Xerox thing there on the left and check out these wreckages that are about seven kilometers away. There we go. What do we have here then? I think these are sort of standard wreckage type things. We might find a few boxes on them. A bit of fuel maybe. That sort of thing. There's definitely a few boxes on this thing. Actually, it's quite a big wreck really. Um, I expected it far less than what is actually here. Now, space. Yep, space is a problem. <laughs> Temperature and radiation-wise, space is an issue. We're going to have to get much closer. And we might have to cook ourselves on a thruster every now and again. Tier 1 multi-tool. Bit of ammunition, bit of components. All good stuff. Uh, there is an RCS there. That's lovely. Um, don't think I'm going to be able to get... Cannot. Right, is there a core then, is there? Hang on. Need to cook oneself. If I just get back in the cockpit, it's probably quicker. There must be a core. Yeah, there is. There it is. Oh, I didn't bring a core with me. I didn't expect... Uh, didn't expect I want to be coring anything. But still, even the raw components of an RCS and the landing gear that's just above it will be uh, will be welcome. That didn't give me anything, did it? Inventory full, that would be why. Um, right. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think I'm probably going to have to resort to putting stuff in the fridge. There's some but bits. No? Okay. That's a whole RCS. You, you've given me a whole RCS there, are you? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> first time first time for everything I guess okay can the artillery fit in there and the uh, and, and sort of everything that, that I don't really need to be carrying on me right now fit in there can the RCS now fit in my inventory damn you damn it uh, that's really <laughs> I don't have a, a, any of my boxes are all full that's full that's full of cobalt that's full of that that's full of that. I'm full of... Yeah, well, I've still got space, but apparently not enough for an RCS, which I suppose makes sense, considering it's given me the entire RCS rather than the components. Um, which is like... First time for everything, I guess. If I reload those guns, does it open up... I don't, I don't think it will, but does it open enough room to maybe to move over some more of those 15 millimeters radiation boost... Radiation boost is quite nice, actually, you know. If you think about it, given the radiation that's outside. Um, what about these oxygen bottles? Can I transfer those over as well? Yeah, I've got 400. I've got a sneaky suspicion I'm going to need, like, a lot more than 400. Probably, like, yeah, it's just, I don't know, I think it's gone. <laughs> well, there's many more wrecks to discover. We've, we've lost that <laughs> RCS, but... You know, that was just the small bit over here. What we got? More boxes over here, and we might be. Um, it might be a case that we need to go away and, and come back for this sort of thing. This one looks exactly the same as the other one, and there's the core. So um, let's leave this one alone. I'll, I'll empty the boxes if I can, but otherwise, I think we'll we'll come back, get those RCS components because. Um, That'd be quite good. That'd be quite good. RCS is for our CV when we come to actually getting it. Maybe. If we can afford it. What about the big boy? Now, you're going to have a T2 multi tool somewhere for me on here, aren't you? I don't think that's too much to ask for. <laughs> you got thrusters. That's good. Ah, and you've got a cannon turret as well. That's even better. Well, no, actually, the thrusters are better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these things are definitely worth a, a little trip, aren't they? Cool. Uh, I think this is 
It's really bigger than I was expecting. Anyway, let's get the ship back down to the planet, give it a cheeky repair, and then um, and then maybe we can have a little go at these missions and see what see what happens. Because I I didn't think that they would work here. Can't believe how lucky I got. <laughs> really, that was close. That was too close. There we go. Good as new. Nobody had ever suspected that I took a missile in the side of the ship. There we go. All repaired. All unloaded. All good to go for another recce. Okay, so let's see now about these missions then, shall we? So, human remains. Activate the mission. Okay, this planet's seen a lot of fights. Yours is only the latest in a series. In fact, down the UCH fleet signal... IDA is picking up, and you will possibly find the remains of your fellow comrades. Let's go. Find wreckage. One of... Okay. <laughs> Commander, I'm detecting a UCH under the finish. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> so one of the vessels from the of the Operation Phoenix fleet. It's transport UCH Heidelberg. We should have a look. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if you're picking up something, I mean, I'm not, I'm not picking up anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there is, I mean, if it's around here somewhere, I'm not seeing a, I'm not seeing a thing for it. Not seeing a thing for it. Um, yep. Nope. 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 Um, yep. Camp Thunderstrike. That's it. Good. Good. I mean, this is what I thought might happen, is that, uh, yeah, it's all just a lie. <laughs> oh, it might be, because there are two moons up there. So it's possible that the Heidelberg is on one moon, and uh, the Titan is on the other one. Uh, let's go check it out. I mean, we've got, we've got fuel. I still need a T2 multi-tool. Um, I haven't got the flux coils yet. So if we have an opportunity to kill more drones and get some more flux coils, then I'm all for that. Uh, so just check the fuel. I don't think we'll be too. Eh, I reckon we could probably squeeze uh, another fuel canister in there. Right, so we've got some small ones in there. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, perfect. <coughs> Spare bottle. Cool. Uh, food. Yeah, eight, eight, eight energy bars. A couple more steaks. Just for the road. You know, all good. Right, let's check out the other moon. I got a sneaking suspicion that uh, this moon is the same as the other moon and has the Titan on it. Oh dear. Yep. It's got the Titan on it as well. So the Titan is on both moons. And uh, it's also got the cluster of Xeraxian scums down the south as well. Definitely a different moon because obviously the Shroud of uh, the Fog of War is here. So I haven't explored this one. Yeah, it seems to have, although it's smaller, much, much smaller. It's got the same configuration as the other one. The other moon was actually quite big. It was a size class. It was a size three moon. But yeah, there you go. There's a comma ray. And that thing as well. It's a shame. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that the, the, the Heidelberg isn't on here somewhere. I mean, honestly, I don't know. But um, I'm guessing I might need to chat with Raven and see what's going on. Whether it's even possible to run the human remains thing. I'm not got, I haven't got a waypoint for it or a marker anywhere, so who knows? Uh, but it, it probably that we can probably move on to um, off a grave. That would probably work. That's the crash end. Okay, never mind. More drones for the killing, though. Mm. They're always welcome. Crash DSC front is always a nice one um, because that has got 
couple of loot boxes in it, I think. And it's also got thrusters. You can see one right there. Um, okay. We can have some reasonably good components. Another medium armor. It's always welcome. Uh, let's have a look, see what we can find in here. Now, if I remember correctly, although this is changed, there's a loot container right there. So we can get that one straight away. Ah, no. I was hoping, as always, <laughs> for a T2 multi tool. But no joy, it's fine. Uh, Satium is always good, and these things are amazing. Um, that's good. Okay, well, I think, well, I can't remember. Is there another one in here? I think there is, but I think it's lower, uh, a lower tech one, and it's buried somewhere down under this lot, around here. Fortunately, since the drill updates, there it is, um, it doesn't take too long to drill around these these parts now. And that is ooh, heavy armor, a taxid and a medical device. Well, of course, a medical device. Why wouldn't you include a medical device? It's fine. <laughs> heavy armor is always welcome, in fairness. Um, Ziscosium, just a single ingot. Okay, another medium armor. Lovely. And uh, whatever sort of components are up here, I guess. Oscillators, hopefully some more uh, flux coils and whatnot. And of course, there are thrusters here. So I might see about um, using these components. I don't know if I can put a core in here. It depends if it's regenerative or not. I don't think it will be because it's a crashed ship. And I think I set all the crashed ships to not regen. So hopefully, I can build a core. And... Uh, do you know what? I'm going to have that ratatouille right now. I can recover the whole blocks on here. It's whether it, it's a case of whether I can get them off planet then. Actually, I might just salvage. I might just salvage the thrusters and get and get the neo and stuff out of them. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? The portable constructor is actually good for something at least. Uh, right. So, uh, let's put some stone dust in there. I'll just put that in there for now. But over here, we should have... Um, now, <laughs> thinking about it, maybe we don't... Maybe we don't yet have the components uh, to build a core. But we can try. It, there is some crushed stone there, so it can actually convert some of it as it needs to. Can you build me a core? Mm, no. Electronics, computer, optical fiber... What if we manually convert? No, because that's literally <laughs> it's gonna two two copper rocks is what we're gonna get out of that. Okay, well the easiest thing to do then is if you're short like I am and you haven't brought a core because because you know you like like me, you're a bit daft. Um, <laughs> is you can salvage useless things like doors. You won't get the full amount of components back, but you'll get some and things like you know O2 station whatever. You know you'll get some steel plates out of that. And so on and so forth. Um, and eventually, we should have the electronics and such in order to build a core. Deco is especially useful to salvage. There we go. Okay, let's see if that lets us salvage now. The only reason I want to put a core in is before I take these thrusters, I want I want to put a core in so that when I do salvage them, I get the best possible return. Without a core, I don't think you get as good as a return. So, let's see. That's now enough for a core. Bingo. Lovely. The rest of this in here, we don't need to be carrying around all this stuff. We've got a drone. Cheeky devil. Where did he come from? He died very quickly as well, which is nice. <laughs> which is very, very nice of him. But he did get a couple of shots off. What did he hit? He went for the cockpit, fortunately. It's probably the most heavily armoured component on here. So we'll let him off. Fine. Core! Stick the core anywhere. Stick the core there. This is now ours. Let's have a look. So this thruster here... If I salvage this, I should get the maximum return. And hopefully, neodymium, satium, and, and oscillators, and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I feel like that is... Um, 
That's a really bad return. <laughs> it's just really bad. I mean, it, this is now mine. I should be getting the... the ah, it's, it's only a tier one multi tool is the other thing. If I had a tier two, maybe I'd, I'd get better. But let's see what this one does. I want oscillators and flux coils, flux coil, titanium plates. There we go. That's a little bit better. It's still not great. It's still not great. And it does feel a bit bad, you know, salvaging thrusters rather than taking the whole thing. I just won't be able to do anything with the whole things right now. Um, and given all the wrecks in orbit and stuff, I think this isn't too much of a loss. Well, the good news is now, ladies and gentlemen, with those extra components I got from the crash DSE front, plus all those drones, you know, I managed to get a fair old number of uh, flux coils out of that. And actually now, we've got the cobalt alloy. Now we can upgrade our constructor to advanced and build a tier two mitre. Look at that. <laughs> kicking ass. Absolutely kicking ass. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, let's just put that straight in there. Um, I put the T1 multi tool in here because the T1 multi tool is part of the recipe for a tier two. So if somebody else wants one, I can make another one. Or if I need to make another one, I can make another one straight away. Tier two multi tool now enables us to start. Well, I mean, we could have done this before, of course, but we can now start taking apart the Thunderstrike here and trying to get enough components back from this to start producing uh, a CV. Might need to expand our little storage bin here. 240,000. Yeah, should be enough. We'll see. Um, assuming, of course, I can stay connected to it while I take this apart, but should be able to. Oh, might need to obviously cook up some more uh, T2 multi-tool charges, but hell, it's going to go a lot quicker with this thing than it would have with a tier one. And the only drama is, I suppose, that uh, we're only going to get components back. We're not going to get whole blocks. Well, we might get whole blocks. It will be random. But for the most part, it's just going to be components. Never mind. We'll have to build our own thruster and whole blocks and so on and so forth. A hell of a lot more plastic in this than I remember it being. Most of it, from what I remember, was hardened steel. And there you go. We're actually getting some titanium plates now. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be me. I'm going to have to leave some of the blocks back in order to allow this place to regenerate. And then, come tomorrow, when I log back in again, yeah, hopefully we'll be back. <laughs> and again, farm it all over again. Um, well, that's the plan anyway. So for now, I'm go around for a little bit, try and find all the thrusters and stuff in here. Assuming I can actually parkour. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I've done is I've added another box to the base. Um, and this is where I'm going to start assembling CV parts, basically. So I've taken apart about half of the Thunderstrike so far. Um, mostly what I'm doing is taking out the bottom row, cutting off sections, letting it collapse, and picking up the, um, the, the steel part, the steel plates, and the titanium plates that are coming off of it, as you can see with several stacks into that already. There's so much hardened steel in that thing, it's brilliant. Um, as for parts that are coming off, not many, not many parts are, but you can see what, I've managed to get 20 hardened steel blocks out of it already, five combat steel as well. Um, the rest of this is stuff that I've manufactured or I, I looted that uh, medical device and stuff like that. What I do need to do um, is, is create a platform in which I'm going to build the CV on. So much like we did for uh, the dark rogue planet. I'm going to build my way off of this planet before I start using the uh, blueprint factory. Hence this little thing here, the bases that I've produced, nothing has been coming out of the blueprint factory uh, so far. So that's what I'm going to try and continue to do. I'm going to now build a platform and that's uh, where I'm going to leave today's episode, ladies and gents. We're going to need a platform to build the CV onto and uh, this should be ready by the next episode. I'm gonna to need to go back into orbit, salvage some more of those wrecks, try and get some more flux coils, even whole thrusters if I can, uh, to try and get all the Neo and stuff that I need because there just doesn't seem to be any neodymium deposits at all. I suppose, yes, we can get an SV warp drive and we can go buy any of the other 
starting planets that might have neodymium in them? Absolutely, absolutely we could. Let's see if we can get off without having to do that though. That would be pretty sweet. Anyway, like I said, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.